Hi, this is Lee Giles of Easy Peasy All in One Homeschool. Our verses are Romans 8, 5 through 8. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. There are two kinds of thoughts, flesh thoughts and spirit thoughts. When Jesus said to Peter, get behind me, Satan, he pointed out that Peter was saying, that what Peter was saying were the thoughts of man. He didn't say that's devil talk. He said, you're not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. It was about what Peter was setting his mind on. We can think God thoughts or get behind me Satan thoughts. Those are the options. Who are you talking to when your mind is rambling? Are you talking to yourself? Are you trying to figure things out yourself? Are you trying to plan yourself? Are you trying to make sense of things yourself? Are you worrying or trying not to worry by thinking of ways you can get control of the situation yourself? Are you making yourself out to be God, turning to your own mind for help and salvation? Are you grumbling and complaining and arguing and plotting as if God were not good and in control? We have to get control of our thoughts. We need to stop talking to ourselves and start talking to God. Our minds run all day long. We could be in constant communication with God. We could be turning to Him all day long in fellowship instead of driving ourselves crazy, playing things over in our minds. We need to take every thought captive and turn them into opportunities for prayer and thanksgiving. Turn them into God thoughts. That's where we find life and peace.